Mixed stone fruits and oatmeal crumble is an easy and quick dessert to make, especially when stone fruits are in season. Use peaches, Indian plums, jamuns, cherries and more to make this delicious and easy dessert. Start off first by mixing the stone fruits. Slice them, pit them. Combine some fresh lemon juice, lemon zest, cornstarch in a bowl. Mix to make a slurry. Add some vanilla to this. Stir again. Now add your stone fruit one by one. You can cut them in different sizes if you like. Mix them all together so that they are evenly coated in the lemon juice. Add some brown sugar to this mixture. You should taste a little bit of every fruit before you add sugar so that you know how much sugar you really need. Sometimes apricots, for instance, when they are fresh, can be sour if they are not ripe. You may also need to peel some of these stone fruit if you feel the skins are too thick. I like to use brown sugar because it gives the oatmeal crumble a lot of texture and complex flavor. Now put all these fruits along with the lemon juice and the sugar into a baking pan. I use a 10 inch pie plate. Now we're going to make the crumble with brown sugar, softened and cubed butter, some regular granulated sugar. I like to use a little bit of vanilla extract for this. Then some oatmeal, followed by some flour. This is all purpose flour. Give this a good stir with your spatula at first and then using your fingers, crumble them together. I also like to add a little bit of cinnamon powder for flavor. You can use other spices if you prefer. Mix these together just using your fingertips. You don't want to apply too much heat to the crumble. You want to keep it cold. That's why the butter, while it's soft, should still be cold. Now mix it till you have crumbs, breadcrumbs, and sprinkle this all over the stone fruit. Make sure that all the stone fruit is fully covered. You need to preheat your oven for to 350 degrees. Prepare the middle rack of the oven and you bake this for about an hour until it's golden brown on the top. This dessert should be eaten warm or hot. Serve this with whipped cream. You can also serve this with vanilla ice cream. It's absolutely delicious. Cover and keep refrigerated for up to three or four days in the fridge.